figured I would make a video this morning. So I've been up for at least three hours now. Boyfriend is away. Can't sleep. Um, I go to work in about an hour or so, so I figured I would just stay up and um, just get ready for the day. But I wanted to go over a specific topic that um, I've wanted to talk about for a while now, and it needs to be discussed. Um, so I, I just want to state that So it, it's a specific title. There's a there is a specific title to this video, but I'm gonna try and do it in the order that I want to do it, or in the order in which I can speak about it, um, and which you guys can understand. But I, I don't know. It's there there is another dimension in in the sky and what really is the sky anyway why is why is it reflected from the water anyway i think that i don't know like is there is there something that is hidden um, is there something that is hidden beyond the sky that, that we, that we are able to perceive and know? Oh, well, there's, there's stars out there, obviously, but maybe, maybe there's more, maybe there's more than that out there. <clears throat> In fact, I, I know there's more out there because I'm already, I'm already in contact with certain ancestors and, and they're contacting me back and actually it's funny because there are a lot of people on the internet saying, well, how do you know these beings aren't demons or they aren't out to harm you or or whatnot, and my answer to that is it has to be a natural knowing it has to be a natural knowing so if you're not if your heart chakra is not activated at this point, then yeah you're you're going to think of it that way. Because your heart chakra has to um, see, like, your, your heart vibration has to um, embody you now in order for you to receive information from um, beings from other realms. Otherwise there will be um there there will be other beings who will try to maybe take advantage of your energy um toxic energy that you may be suppressing or um releasing forth into <clears throat> this reality if it's not if it's not pure true love then yeah other beings are 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 going to take advantage of you and you also have to know who you truly are spiritually in order for the good beings to contact you it's that simple and like i said before like i said 
it has to be a natural knowing that it is your star family um, visiting you and all of that. And I don't know. The mothership, whether you like to call it Nibiru or another name, um, it's a spiritual mothership. And if if the mothership is even going to show up at all, there are certain people, there are a select few um, who are actually going to see it if it if it does choose to manifest itself uh to you um there there's going to be a select few who who are only going to see it if it if it chooses to um i don't know you i don't know it's like when when the dimensional split happens i don't know when maybe year 2020 or so um it's going it's going to be like um you're you're going to be like in a dream state when when you're when you're going to see it if it's if it's going to manifest itself to you from the sky <clears throat> um so your third eye so you're 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 going to see it with your third eye and it's funny because um, the star seeds, the so-called awakened ones, the awakened people, that we are we are waking up from a previous dream. We are waking up from a previous dream, and coming into a new dream and that's all <clears throat> it's hard to explain there are the certain one the certain souls who are going to be able to see the mothership um these these individuals have already entered the fifth dimension and they are embodying the heart energy frequency as the fifth dimension if that makes any sense and it's and it's like a dream it's like a dream state um so there are, I think, I don't know, there may be branches of many different motherships up there, but um, like I said, there are going to be specific motherships that will expose themselves to certain individuals who are already, ha who have already entered the fifth dimension within the physical. Um... And the mothership is going to show up um, into different forms um, to other various individuals. Like you, you may see, like for example, you may see like the mothership. You may see the mothership like um, like a Star Trek type. Um, ship, or you may see it like a pyramid, or you may see it like um, a sphere, a spheroid, if you will. Um, but um, from my thoughts, Erebor, Erebor is in the sky. Erebor is my mothership. It's going to appear as okay. So if I am within the within a dream state, it's it's either going to appear as um, a pyramidal, a floating pyramidal mountain, or um, 
See, I, I did see a mothership <clears throat> in, in a specific dream I had two years ago. Um, and it, it, and it did look like a, um, it did look like, um, what you'd see on the television and all that, what a, what a mothership would look like. And I, I believe that it helped me to, it helped me to reach the fifth dimension just by seeing it. And also... Um, your ancestors, um, and your ancestors and other angelic beings will, other dimensional beings, they will help you. Um, they will help you reach the fifth dimension through dreams. And in your waking state, um, your waking state is also a dream. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if um if what I'm speaking of is taboo or not because this physical body, this physical vessel will eventually decay and die. And um and people should should really not be afraid of death because when you die, you're entering into another womb. So you should not be afraid. We shouldn't be afraid. It's, it's natural. It's a natural feeling to be afraid of death, but just, just try and think of it that way. You're, when you, when your soul exits this physical body you have here, you you will enter into another womb um which is darkness um you will see darkness at first or whatever happens um but i would i would really like to think that this this would happen because i've i've already chosen my mother and father in my next life so whatever happens to me here, it doesn't really matter because I know that there are crooks and deceiving people who will benefit and make money off of my body when I leave because spiritually, because there is a spiritual movie within my DNA, and to be honest, they are waiting, these people here on this realm who may benefit from me, they are waiting for the movie to fully develop. <clears throat> and the only reason, the only reason why they haven't taken me out yet is because these people may be waiting for me to fully develop the DNA movie so they can make money off me. And I know this is true. Because it because this isn't going to change. I'm not going to change anytime soon. This is real. You know what? I was working yesterday, and, um, you know, these hooligans just came into the store laughing up a storm, and it just sounded so fake. And, you know what? I, I am a serious individual, and I have to be serious to go to if I ever want to have the opportunity to go to the serious stargate the spiritual stargate of Sirius and I've already been there in, when, in my dream 
and I met Gam Killy there. He was at that Stargate. And this is becoming so real. It's not even funny. So I have to be serious if I want to... If I have any chance of going to the spiritual Stargate known as Sirius. I can't... I can't afford to be ignorant anymore. We can't afford to be ignorant anymore. If we want to join our galactic family, our angelic family, that is within our DNA and, and in the sky. Erebor is here for me now, and I have begun my story. And these, and these crooks, these crooks in the Matrix world here in the third dimension, where we are residing at the moment, they are waiting for my DNA movie to fully express itself, to develop itself. So, so when the time I die... The movie, the spiritual movie will be within me, and these people can make so much money off of my DNA, it's not even funny. And this is, this is what's going to happen. I can't lie to myself anymore. This is happening. And the ancestors are here to help me. They're here to guide me, and they're here to comfort me. And I don't want to hear anything about, oh, okay, well, maybe it's just Wi-Fi, or maybe it's just the towers uh, messing with your ears. Well, I've turned my phone off many a time. And I still hear the ringing noise, so I know it's not the Wi-Fi from my phone. Because I've turned off my phone many times, and I still hear it. And if it was, I think if, I think if it was any tower or anything, um, the, there would be a noise constantly in your ear. It wouldn't, it wouldn't fluctuate in and out, I don't think, but... Like I said, it has to be something that it has to be something that um, has activated within you spiritually. Um, because certain people have to be activated. There are certain people who are activated and everybody is everybody's going through this. Okay, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to get dressed and get ready for work and I hope you guys enjoyed this um audio video. And um hopefully you got something out of it. Peace. Have a good day, you guys.